The Advanced Energy Office is a chance for us to work cooperatively with BC Hydro uh, and ourselves and suppliers uh, to really innovate and to uh, be able to look at how new technology can be brought into office environments. We've uh, looked at uh, our computer equipment, we've uh, done our monitors uh, in terms of our projection screens in our meeting rooms, uh, our kitchen appliances, uh, some of our local uh, task lighting has been done, a lot of demo lighting throughout the meeting rooms have been completed. We've looked at uh, new designs for, for T5 dimmable uh, systems. We've looked at LED and installed LED downlights to replace compact fluorescent and incandescent throughout the office. The next step for us is to look at our base building uh, lighting system. The base building luminaire will be uh, converted to, uh, to not only allow for uh, more efficient operation but also to have it controlled. After 20 years of being in the energy management industry and involved with green buildings, we said we're going to look for a building that can really not only suit our needs but also you know, meet with what our, 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 ethic, our ethics and our beliefs are all about. And we found a great location here. When BC Hydro approached us with the Advanced Energy Office concept about taking it one step further, it really opened up an opportunity for us to tailor uh, the systems to the individuals even further because we could integrate in daylighting controls and individual occupant controls. Uh, for dimming and, and light levels to, recon to recognize that people are different and they want to operate with different amounts of light in different environments and to give them the flexibility to make it happen, uh, this project really takes it to the next, uh, next level. We're definitely going to be showing people our, the results of our efforts. Uh, we'll be having opening houses for both the, our clients, our new clients that are interested in this. great thing about it is, is we're monitoring it full time, 24 hours a day to see what the energy savings will be and can show them some real facts. Our clients, even locally, are saying, why aren't we doing more daylight harvesting for lighting control systems? Why aren't we using LED lighting? But you know our challenge here in BC is, yes, we do have lower rates in most places. So we, as consultants, look deeper at it, we have to analyze it deeper, and truly see if we're wisely spending our clients' money. What we're going to be able to do is actually test areas, we can focus in on certain individuals and different types of tasks. Uh, we do have demographics within the office here. We have some older staff and some younger staff. And we're going to see how they treat it. What we're trying to do here is show them the truth for the BC marketplace. This project allows us to show our leadership. You know, we want to uh, experiment with the new technologies that are out there. We want to be able to show, and, uh, to show the community and to show the, uh, our clients how we can help them save energy. What better way than to come into our office and see how it's working, how we can integrate you know, new technologies and behavior together into a way to really reduce you know, your footprint. We're, we're really proud of uh, the project and where we've been able to achieve so far. The system's installed, uh, the staff have uh, gotten used to the changes in place and actually are, we're saving more energy than we anticipated because they're actually operating uh, their own luminaires less than, uh, than we thought. Initially, our landlord was a little skeptical and, you know, changing the base building lighting system was a big deal. Uh, so they were a little hesitant, but uh, last week we had a visit from uh, the owner and the landlord's uh, rep. And not only were they pleased with the results, but they asked us how they could apply it to another building that they're managing and own, that they own uh, nearby. So they were very favorable uh, results from them. With doing uh, lighting retrofits in offices, some concerns landlords may have would be cost, um, charge back to tenants, other things would be uh, accessibility to replace light bulbs, um, light fixtures. Is it easily accessible? Would we have to wait six weeks? Maintenance. My first reaction when I, when I walked through the space was Amazement. I was shocked because I honestly believed that it wasn't going to be bright enough and it wasn't going to be functional enough for employees to actually sit down and work and it's turned out beyond my expectations. We've got the lighting systems totally retrofitted and replaced. Uh, we've got our automated control system in place. We've got our manual switches in place. So everything's there. Programming has been set up. We're now trying to do go through some mock-ups trying to tweak it a little bit, you know, setting up different things, uh, looking at uh, different light levels. We've got the daylight influence, uh, and we're just trying to match and see how well that is going to save us the energy at the end of the day. We've set up our system to what I believe will maximize the energy savings. We've gone away from having automated lighting control systems turning the lighting on, and we've turned it into a manual mode. 
The first person comes in in the morning, they will turn on the lighting in the common areas only. The benefit of this, of course, is it allows people to get to their workstation safely. Once they enter into their work pods and their workstations, then an occupancy sensor will then kick in the lighting and those lights will come on in that pod area only. Once they're at their workstations, they've got computerized access to the lighting systems above them. So they can actually increase the light level or even turn it off if they so desire. Traditional occupancy sensors in offices are set up to turn the lights on automatically when a person walks in and then automatically turn them off after they've been out of their space for about 20 minutes. What we've done a step above this to set it up so that you have to manually turn the lighting on when you get into the space. The benefit of this is people can drop a piece of paper on your desk and walk out the door without turning the lighting on when it wasn't even needed to be on. With an automated lighting control system like we have here, it does allow us to have full control. That control was done back at the PC. At that point, we've got the ability to address each light fixture within the space and assign its characteristics. Some of them are automated by the users with a Windows control system where they can raise and lower their lighting. Others are on a preset schedule. From a business perspective, I'm really looking forward to having not only the first couple of weeks that we have data from, but actually having the first full year. So we can see the impact of different seasons because we have a daylighting uh, controls in here. So we re really won't see that, you know, those results. Today happens to be a beautiful day, but not every day is as beautiful as today. <laughs> and so uh, you know, we'll be able to see what happens in different seasons and over the year and really be certain of, uh, of, uh, of what the uh, quantitative side of this is.